830 now. Well, the case of Lower Marion School District or the district allegedly using school laptops to spy on its students. We've been talking about this this morning. It has become a national story. Yeah, today. still the technical issues, though, in the case can be uh, a little bit confusing. Yeah. So we want to teach you how this was all happening in the school district and in the uh, individual students' homes. Anthony Magluso was here from Pro Computer Service, and thank you for coming in. Pleasure, Mike. Good okay, morning. you brought one of the smallest laptops I've ever seen, but this is very cute. <laughs> I'm a computer uh, guy. My muscles are not going to carry something small. Okay, you've got this. This is not exactly the. Uh, they have a little bit bigger laptops. Mm -hmm. and I think they were all white and colored. That's the laptops that you see in the stories. But how in the world could a school district access? Uh, the home, the bedroom, or wherever they have these computers in their homes? Uh, very easily, actually. Uh, the computers were given by the school district. They were programmed from the school district. Therefore, they have total control over it. So when these computers connect to the Internet, they could simply issue a remote command mm -hmm. and then take a picture, take a video. So let's pretend you're a student mm -hmm. and you're in your bedroom or something studying. So let's turn it this way just a little bit. Mm -hmm. The camera, this I is going to be pretty rudimentary here, but this is the camera right there. That's the lens. And there so that, I am. And there oh, you that. are. So they could be monitoring this as we speak, technically. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. And the other, the other thing they could do is a lot of people think that, hey, well, I could just disconnect it from the Internet and I'm fine. Well, depending on how it was programmed, they could dump the video to the computer, and next time you connect, it could send it right over to the school district as well. Not saying they did that, right. but just another another way that they could actually tie into your, your back system. Back up a little bit so I can see your head a little mm -hmm. bit better. Okay. Uh, now, Julia, who was just here, she's an attorney. She says they could also see not only who, what you're doing there, what you look like, what you have on, and stuff like that, but they can also access what you're what you're looking at on your computer yeah they could they could take screenshots they could they could actually put a program on to monitor your keystrokes as you're typing um, it's a computer it could okay. do whatever you want as long as it's programmed so for all of the people watching right now Anthony who have laptop computers of course your question is are you know if you're thinking okay could this happen to me granted it's not the high school but is there any way some other big brother so to speak could be monitoring us if we're on our laptops I think that's the question here the larger yeah. question that makes us nervous it's to totally totally a valid question we covered Zeus botnet the other day the the anti the spyware program uh -huh. and it could take full control of your computer really so anything that gets on your computer someone's able to hack into your system and get the level of access that you have they could most definitely anytime do whatever they so want. So you could have people all over the you know area on their laptops and with their webcam facing them somebody could be watching these people. Yes. So in other words let's forget about the school district. That's what issue. I'm saying it's a larger issue here. Yeah anytime we're on our computers at our homes and that little camera's facing us you should just think somebody's watching. <laughs> assume, assume maybe that somebody's watching. Wow. And one good way to check is, I mean, now. Oh, again, tell us this then. Yeah, how, you how could, do you check? You could disable this, but if you notice the little light next to my camera right there, uh -huh. it's on. That shows that it's recording because that's that's what's happening right now. Well, the students said that. They noticed that the green light would popped on. You would think they would have said something to their parents or something before a lawsuit had to happen. When you heard about this, were you surprised? I could not believe the excuse that they gave. There's there's a software program out there called Lojack that could that could find like out cars. if you're yeah exactly. So I I just don't see how this could have happened. I mean I, I I just don't understand it. And again, the excuse the school district is using is that they said this was to monitor stolen laptops. They yeah, where's tell. the where's the police report for the uh, pictures that were taken? Were all those laptops stolen? Yeah, apparently they say that they found 42 of them or were able to. They investigated 42 cases where they were stolen. So if the light isn't on, I'm going back to all the people right now who have laptops or webcams. If the light isn't on, does that mean they they can't do it? Not necessarily. See, Again, it's a thing. computer. I mean, if the if the software is programmed to shut off the light and record. Because a webcam doesn't have a light. Well, some of them do, but like the one I have, it doesn't. Right. Yeah. It's 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 really it's really tough. I mean, that was just one little quick quick way. But exactly like you said. So I could be talking to a friend, and somebody else could. They could hijack right in. Would there be records at the school district of every time someone activated one of the laptops? There should be records at the school district and also on the individual computer themselves. That's why I think it's so important that they get the injunction now to prevent tampering with the evidence. Well, you mean like somebody erasing all those? Uh, why would records? they ever do that? I have no, no clue. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for bringing that in.